this thing called your law of attraction. When you release a causal emotion, your law of attraction changes. So let's say today I cried all day. And it was about being controlled by people. Let's say that was the emotion. I was, you know, I was just tired, sick and tired of everyone trying to control me. That's my emotion. I cried all day, and lo and behold, tomorrow, I had four, tomorrow I have four more people trying to control me. What is that saying to me? More crying. Maybe. It was a whole lot of that crying. Sorry, it didn't work. <laughs> Who's been in that state where that's happened? Isn't that so annoying? <laughs> no, I've been in that state for months at a time sometimes. And I wake up every day more annoyed. <laughs> then I connect to that, right? Then we went through it. But, but the key is your law of attraction changes instantly you deal with the cause of emotion. And I'm saying instantly. Because if it's no longer in you, you can't any longer attract it. Right. So that's the way to tell that it's actually happening. Does that everyone follows that? Is, it, is, that a, is that a gradual thing as well? It is a gradual thing, yeah. Um, because obviously you're dealing with lots and lots of different types of emotions in the course of a day or in the course of a week. And so sometimes you don't even notice that it's instantly changed. What you notice is, oh, two weeks time on. Oh, I've had two weeks now when no one's got angry with me. Oh, wow. You know, because I've, I've, I've been dealing with those issues yeah. and had sort of things change where people have treated me differently, and I've, I've noticed that when I know there's still a lot there. Yeah, and so that grows up the most. Yeah, and so obviously, too, with a lot of our emotions, we release, let's say it's the issue of being controlled. We might release an event in our, in our teenage years, an event in our younger years, and the younger years, and younger years, and then we get down to one when we're three or something like that. Now, obviously, as we release one of those events, our law of attraction will slightly change. And then we release the next one, it will change a bit more. And release the next one, it will change a bit more. But when we get to the real core, it just actually stops all the, Like, whatever one we're attracting just stops all together. Could there be some sort of blissful, uh, just a wonderful feeling of ecstasy? Could that be an indicator that you've released? Um, usually after you've released causal emotion, you go through a day or a few days where you feel really, really good. That is a very common experience. Yeah. Um, how many of you have felt that experience where you've felt like you've released something and the next day it's just like, whoa, this is an awesome day. Yeah. And then the next day, <laughs> oh, we're back in the hour. <laughs> and this is how the soul works, you see, it's flowing out of you. So when you let one flow, you have a day or two feeling good. And this is where you can't judge. Because you're going to have a day or two feeling good, and then you'll have a day that's crap. And what, if you judge it, what are you going to do? You're going to stop that day of crap, which means you're stopping all the future days of feeling good. Do you want that? <laughs> really? We don't really. So just allow those without judgment. It doesn't matter who's judging it around you. Don't worry about what they're saying about you. In the end, it's not about them, it's about your relationship with God. And when you release that emotion, you will love them even more. Don't worry about them, what they're saying about you. Mind you, if what they're saying about you triggers you, <laughs> go with it. Because <laughs> it's a causal emotion within you that needs to be released. It's your law of attraction. <laughs>